Upright adjustments in Camera Raw are great for correcting the perspective and photos of architectural subjects, or wherever you feel the lines in an image need straightening. While the regular selection of upright options have worked well enough in the past, there is now a new guided upright option. In this video, you will learn how to select the Transform tool to enter the Transform mode to apply transform and upright corrections, and I'll then show you how to apply guided upright corrections by manually applying guides. So to begin with, we need to get to the new Transform panel mode, which is accessible by selecting the Transform tool at the top here. And you can see that this shows you the upright options at the top so that you can go through these to find which is the right one that you wish to use to apply to an image. And in this particular example, I'm going to select the guided upright option and use this to be able to determine the optimum uh, perspective correction in this photograph. And I tried when I took this photo to try and get it as straight on as possible so that no correction would be needed. But as you can see, the lines aren't completely straight. So by adding a guide at the top here that matches the line of the top of the ceiling, I can put one guide in there and then put in another at the bottom. And you can see that as soon as I've applied those two guides, that the image shape changes and adjusts accordingly. You won't see any change until you put in the second guide. Now, if your graphics processor is enabled and is allowed it on your, on, uh, and is compatible on your computer, you'll also have a loop option down here, which can help you with precision adjustments. All I need to do now is to apply another couple of guides to then get the verticals to appear correct. So I'll apply one there and then another one down here. And that's the complete perspective correction for that photograph. That was a fairly easy image to correct. Now let me show you another example where you can see there's more of an extreme adjustment that's required. In this example, it's currently uh, set to off for the upright adjustments. If I click on the auto button, that produces a quite nice look. I can click on level. That doesn't really do too much of a correction. There is the uh, vertical option. And then lastly, the full option. And you can see with that, that the correction is full, but it does look very distorted and doesn't look real at all. So let me go back to the off option and then select the guided upright option. And I'll start by clicking to follow the line of the roof here to add the first guide and then click down here below to add the second. And those two guides have straightened out the building. If I now add a guide here to follow the line of the edge of the building there on the left and do the same thing here on the right, that produces an adjustment which is fairly similar to the one that was achieved using the full adjustment. If I wanted to try and get the image to uh, look like it's leaning in a little bit more, there are two ways that I can do this. I could choose to adjust the vertical slider here to be able to make the um, to restore some of the keystone effect in the image to make the verticals converge slightly at the top. Or another way that you can do it is to actually drag on the handles so that you can change the shape manually that way. So I can then adjust the angles so that I've got complete control to decide just how much I want those, uh, those um, verticals to converge. And then when I'm happy, I can perhaps maybe change the aspect ratio for the image, uh, change the scaling. And you'll notice also down here that you've got these offset sliders as well, so that you can choose to offset to maybe keep the image more centered and then adjust the scaling so that it sits better within the frame. And similarly, there's an offset slider here so that you can adjust the relative height in the frame as well. So there you have a couple of useful ways that you can work with the guided upright option that is new to this version of Camera Raw. This Photoshop video tutorial was brought to you by me, Martin Evening, author of the Photoshop for Photographers series of books. You can find out more at the book's website or follow me on my Photoshop and Photography Facebook page.